Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That, where the inspirational channel goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and talks about inspirational stories. So today we're going to be doing a Tech Tuesday, however it's different than a Tech Tuesday. Um, we've been doing a lot of stuff with the Creality 6 uh, CR6 Max 3D printer. And today we're actually going to be doing something exciting for you guys. We're going to be doing a time-lapse video and we're going to be actually printing out something for you guys to see that typically takes anywhere from between 36 to about 45 hours to do, create, and make. What are we going to be printing? We're going to be printing a face hugger from Aliens. Aliens is actually a great uh, sci-fi horror movie that was back in 1978. And of course, I... Um, like many of you out there, I get into movie props and things of that nature in uh, my actually side business that I do, which is, you know, KJ's Collectibles. We do a lot of uh, collectibles, movie props, and I actually create some of my own uh, props here. So uh, we're going to be taking a 3D printer, showing you what um, the time lapse is to do the face hugger, and we'll show you what the face hugger looks like. If you haven't seen the face hugger uh, from the Aliens, this is the uh, Queen Alien, which course lays the eggs for the face hugger um, and then of course the face hugger creates other aliens inside the body so we encourage you to watch aliens if you like uh, sci-fi or horror movies so in the next screen to just give you a little bit of a you know kind of what the the eggs look like that the face huggers come out of and the aliens uh, hatch uh, to give you an idea of what we're creating this is the egg that the face hugger comes out of and in the next screen we'll show you what the face hugger looks like so this is the next screen on what the face hugger actually looks like. And we're going to be creating this right here. This is actually an alien that lays their egg inside the body. Um, it's, it's a very cool uh, movie prop. Maybe we'll be making some others. Uh, you guys can kind of let us know what you would like us to make and we'll try to make it. Uh, but we're going to be doing this all from scratch, not only from the start to the beginning. It's going to be a time lapse video. It's going to be something, as I indicated, it takes usually close to over 40 hours to do. We're going to only be doing that and showing that time lapse in two minutes. So we hope you enjoy and we'll see you at the end. Okay, so we're all set. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that time-lapse video. I know we enjoyed uh, creating the alien prop and we like to do a lot of different things with the 3D printer. Um, probably what we're gonna be doing within this segment is we have hours and hours of footage uh, creating this video. So within this video, if you guys have any questions out there, you know, in between, like you had some holdups on your printer or something stuck, I mean, you even saw a couple times that Within our printer, we have to, you know, trim off some things and do a couple other settings and recalibrate and uh, do a, a, you know, a few things to, you know, kind of get through the project. It wasn't uh, too many issues that we ran into, but I know some of you out there have reached out to us and talked about some of the holdups and issues that you have had. Just let us know, uh, throw it in the comments. We try to make videos for each uh, comment directed towards that. And we don't want to get real lengthy in the videos. We just try to uh, do like the segment directed towards your question. So if there's something real in depth, just let us know. We'll try to make an in-depth video for that. Uh, but we'd like to do short, small segments in regards to your questions. 
So drop us a comment or drop us an email is probably the best way and let us know and we'll try to get to, get to that. So of course you saw the uh, transition of the Alien uh, Headhugger movie prop and I have it uh, of course right here, um, which is really cool and I wanna talk about it a little bit too in this video and kind of give you guys an idea. Um, these are all jointed so it can fully move and move around and of course anything that you're making within a 3D printing um, you're going to have some holdups with some joints and you'll see we trimmed off some things. And of course, uh, you know, we actually filled our own eyes within that. And these are actually glass eyes. They're, they're uh, pearl glass eyes. So that way, if you have black lighting or any kind of fluorescent lighting, these will light up or glow. Um, we kind of gave that a little bit of a feature uh, within the alien to kind of make it look cool. So, I mean, anytime that you guys are doing any of the aliens, you can... You know we can custom make them if you want us to make them or you can do it yourself you know and print them um, but there's a number of different things that we try to do you know try to be a little bit uh, different when we're making these uh, but as we had talked you know these are just a plastic mold um, there's many things you can do within the 3d printing you can do metal and all that other stuff which we'll talk about in other segments so I'll also show you some uh, other pictures here within the video um, that you can see a little bit uh, closer up and to kind of see what the alien looks like and some of the detail we gave it. So you'll see here, there's a picture that we have taken uh, to just kind of show you. Um, and we, you know, as we said, we do sell these through uh, KJ's collectibles and a number of other collectibles, but we just do these more for fun and the printing. We don't sell a whole lot of the printing stuff and don't really market that. Uh, but if you did want, you know, something made, uh, you know, or you had questions on it again, let us know. Uh, but you'll see that it's, you know, all custom painted. And then here again, here's the, uh, the glass eyes. And we'll scroll through some of the pictures so you can kind of see, you know, what it looks like in the measurements and the, the feet and the, the movable joints. And here's a close up of the pictures. Now you can see the detail that was given to it, you know, when I, of course, painted it. And it gives it a little bit of a texturing. Now you can paint these any color that you want. Um, but you can also see that it, you know, I kind of tried to make it look almost real like like it has a you know you'll even see a little bit of furring on it i uh, made that kind of you know with that texturing uh when you saw that cleaning it up with the um, razor and then that gave it some of the uh, texturing so and then the, these little speckles are the different colors of paint and then again these are the eyes that uh, we had uh, glued in and put the stationary uh, to give that the effect with a black light or a, a fluorescent lighting. So here's a couple other quick, um, you know, pictures. They do flex, they can stand, you can make them stand, you know, you can move the tail around. You know, this just showing some measurements of it. And uh, this is the bottom of it. You know, I like to have ours a little bit darker, like it's an older, you know, head hugger alien. Uh, you can paint them, you know, the, the black color. Now some of them do have a lighter white color. But I guess it's all in, you know, what you prefer. So as you see a close up of it and then another side shot of it and then uh, some more close ups here with the uh, uh, texturing that's, that's on it. And I just showed it on a box, you know, basically kind of what it looks like uh, in regards to if it's sitting on something. These are more meant for display. They're not meant for, you know, play and moving around. I mean, these are just plastic and plastic jointed. They will. I mean, you can break them, uh, but we we just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like and um, more or less what the alien, of course, looks like within the picture. So you'll see here, it, it's pretty cool. It's something to um, definitely create. And we hope you enjoyed this time-lapse video and we hope to you know make some more. They do take some time, but uh, if there's one out there that you want us to see or something to make, uh, we'll try to make a time-lapse on it or a training video for you. So we'll see you on the next one.